our science and technology expert. Dan, so let's talk about this announcement we just heard on nuclear fusion. A lot of excitement this morning from the White House and from scientists. What does it mean? This means that working, the theme of the press conference is that sometimes it takes a long time to make a little bit of progress, uh, but you, if you stick with it, you get to your goal. We heard from scientists who've been working on this problem since uh, the 1970s. Uh, this is a question that go, goes back to the 1930s. We know on paper that if you take two hydrogen atoms and you put them together, you can make a helium and you should get some energy out of doing that. It happens on the sun all the time, but how do you do it on earth? And so you've got to create a very hot, very dense environment so you've got to build a really cool machine that can do that. And then once you have that heat and you have that pressure, uh, sometimes that, 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 it, that reaction can happen. But then how do you harness the energy from it? And so we've been making steps toward this ultimate goal uh, of what they call ignition. And ignition is this magical uh, moment where we put all this energy into making it happen. But the energy we get out is greater than the energy we put in. That ratio of energy in to energy out has always been a net loss uh, for as long as we've been working on this problem. And today, the US Department of Energy has announced that they have figured out a way to get energy out. So they are putting a ton of energy in with lasers, hitting these hydrogen atoms, turning them into helium, but the energy that they're able to harness coming out of it exceeds the amount of energy that goes in with those lasers. And so that breakthrough is an important step towards creating basically power plants that would do the same thing for our homes. So for the non-scientific community, we hear uh, this is the most impressive feat of the 21st century. But people also wonder, Dan, when they're going to see the fruits of this breakthrough. How long will it take to carry out this advancement? It's really hard to say. I mean, this is a technology where, tech, you know, I remember working on d d Daily Planet stories about this uh, almost a decade ago, and everybody was saying, oh, we're just a couple years away from having this infinite energy source. And the thing about nuclear fusion is that it doesn't create nuclear waste. It doesn't have the risk of a meltdown or a, 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 a nuclear leak. Uh, because when you when you take nuclear fission, which is how nuclear power plants currently work, that can get out of control. That's a chain reaction and it can spiral out of control as we saw at Fukushima or as we saw at Chernobyl. This is a totally different process. It has the word nuclear in it, but you're not splitting atoms. You're not splitting a big heavy atom of uranium. You're taking two hydrogen atoms, which are the most plentiful atoms in the uh, universe, and you're smushing them together to make helium. And you're not, there's no chain reaction. And so if it melts down or breaks or whatever, there's no real risk. You're not gonna have a nuclear huge problem. And so this is a very exciting future. And uh, using this technology, theoretically, you could take a liter of seawater out, out of the ocean and get 300 times more energy from that than you get from a liter of gasoline. And there would be no CO2 going into the atmosphere. So the promise of this technology is infinitely better than anything we have right now. It's just a question of how long it's going to take to make this work at scale. And this today is an important step in the right direction. But a lot of people who watch the industry carefully say, you know, we need it to be about 100 times better than what we're seeing at this stage before we're really going to be able to power a city with it. That said, every great journey begins with a step. And today is a, a big, huge step in the right direction.